For a while now, everyone has been talking about this one specific Garo combo, the Kyoto combo, and how it's so difficult and OP. I know a lot of you guys have heard about it already because I get a lot of people in my Discord telling me about it. And it's pretty popular on YouTube too. I never really learned it or checked it out enough to see if it's even worth all the hype it's getting. So today, I will be learning the combo and seeing if it's even worth your time. But first we need to know, who even is Kyoto? If you search Kyoto Combo on YouTube, his channel comes up. He seems like just a normal guy. I guess the combo got named after him because his video showing it off got 100k views. All this talk about the combo and I haven't even shown it yet. I initially had trouble doing it because I was using the dummy. This combo almost never works on the dummy because it doesn't have all the same properties as an actual player like Ping. The combo is Garo's first move into the second move. All you have to do is use the first move and right when it ends, you side dash and use the second move really fast. Everyone was saying it's super hard to do, but I managed to get it immediately once I stopped using the dummy and tried on a player. It's easier or harder to do depending on the opponent's ping. This just goes to show how ping-based games can be. If you don't know what ping is, it's basically a number that shows how good your connection is to the server. You can check it by enabling performance stats in Roblox settings. Now that I've shown you the combo, we need to see if it's even worth using. I did a combo to try to get as much damage as possible using the Kyoto combo, then a regular ga Ro combo. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. The damage is pretty much the same, or worse, in most cases. This combo is purely used to show off. It has no other real use. Maybe if your cooldowns are in the right spot, it could be helpful. Let's go see how well it performs in Ranked. 